So what are enzymes? It's a great question, and that's what I'm going to explain to you. I'm going to start using this texture. Okay. Let me ask you, does this lid fit on this texture? It does, doesn't it? Okay. Let's just put them here. Okay. And wait for that to happen. Not much happening. No. Right. What needs to happen is it needs a little help. Right, if I use my hands, hold them in the correct orientation, presto, lid on the texture. Okay, it seems a little silly. Enzymes are what we find inside of cells that give the little help needed for chemical reactions to occur. I'm using the texture here to model that. Chemical reaction, two molecules need to go together. The enzyme provides the help so that that can happen quickly. All right, so why is this important? All right, we need to realize that cells are like little chemical factories. There are thousands of chemical reactions occurring inside of cells all the time. It, that's their job, that's what they do. Everything important that happens inside of a cell is a chemical reaction. Uh, and every one of those chemical reactions needs help. So we need an enzyme for every single chemical reaction that takes place in a cell. If we don't have the enzyme, that reaction can happen, but it will happen slowly, if it will happen ever at all. So we need the enzyme to speed up this process. All right, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you a basic example of an enzyme and how it works. Right, here's our enzyme, okay? Enzymes are made of protein. They're actually made by cells. So here we have our enzyme made of protein. You can see it has this area here where molecules can fit. That area is called the active site. That's where the process, the chemical reaction is actually going to take place. Now, in a chemical reaction, we always have our reactants or our substrates, which is what I've got for you there. All right, they are what participate in the reaction that takes place at the start of the reaction they will be turned into the products. So let's bring in our product here. Okay, obviously you're seeing lots of shapes here. Shapes are really important when it comes to enzymes. Enzymes work using complementary shapes. Complementary shapes means two shapes that fit together. Hand into a, a fist into a hand, or texture into a lid. That is complementary shapes. Now, okay, here's our substrates here. These are the things that are going to go into this reaction. Now, I've got three substrates. I don't think you've had too much difficulty working out which substrates are actually going to participate in the reaction with this enzyme. That's right, it's this one. If I can get it in the correct orientation. And it's this one. Not this one. There's nowhere for this one to bind. It's not complementary to this enzyme. So it's not a substrate for this enzyme. Okay, so here we go. Substrates have bound to the enzyme. The enzyme helps and provides a location for this reaction to occur. A bond is going to form between these two substrates until we form our product. All right, so there we have it. These two substrates have come in, the enzyme has helped that bond to form, and so we've produced our product. Now the great thing is, have a look, we've got our product there. Here's our enzyme. Has our enzyme changed in any way during that reaction? No, it hasn't. That's great, enzymes can keep being used over and over and over again. They can speed up more and more and more chemical reactions. So here we go, two substrates come in, right, the bond is formed, we produce the product. Right, another two substrates come in, the bond is formed, we produce the product. Right, you get the point, that process can happen over and over and over again. The enzyme is never used up, but it can just keep speeding up reactions again and again and again and again, which is why they're so great, which is why they're so necessary for cells, 
because they enable all of those chemical reactions to just keep happening over and over again. Right, now let me just explain another thing. We've shown here a reaction where two substrates are put together to produce a product, right? I can turn the tables on that. We can actually have one substrate and two products. We, can have, we call that a breakdown reaction. So we can have one substrate molecule which binds to the enzyme. The enzyme's gonna put some pressure on that bond and it's gonna break that substrate down into two products, right? And you guessed it, that can happen over and over and over again. The substrate will bind to the enzyme, it will put pressure on the bond, it will break it down into the two products, and then that can happen again. Another substrate molecule comes in, gets broken down into the two products, another substrate molecule comes in, and that's happening again and again. As I've said, nothing's happening to the enzyme, but it's able to continue that reaction. All right, I'm gonna to finish today with a definition. Okay, after all this video is what, is what are enzymes? Enzymes are called biological catalysts. Let's break that down. Biological means living. Guys, enzymes are made by cells. They're made in living things, and so we call them biological. Okay, our other term is catalysts. A catalyst is something that speeds up a chemical reaction which is of course exactly what enzymes do. So because enzymes are produced by living things, they are biological, and because enzymes speed up chemical reactions, they are called catalysts. All right, so there you have it. That's what enzymes are. I'm gonna make some more videos which go into how enzymes work in a bit more detail. I'm gonna talk about things like activation energy. I hope this has helped, and I'll see you next time.